Hey, can you hear the sound over there? Can you hear the sound? I heard it, Bell. How can this electric iron talk? So, this is called a microphone. There's a thin membrane at the back, and when you speak, the sound moves the membrane through the air. Hmm, I understand this. So what is this wire for? This is a resistance wire connected to the membrane. When speaking loudly, the membrane bulges, the resistance wire sinks, the resistance in the liquid increases, and the current decreases. When speaking softly, the membrane contracts, the resistance rises, and the current increases again. This repeats. The volume of the sound is thus converted into the magnitude of the current. Can you hear me? So how do these currents turn back into sound on the other side? This is called a receiver, and behind it, there is also a piece of wood connected to a thin iron sheet. Below, there is a magnet that receives the incoming current. According to electromagnetism, the changing current generates magnetic fields of varying strength, attracting the iron sheet to vibrate and reproduce sound. Watson, take me to buy a hamburger. Ah, uh, so you're saying that where there's electricity, there can be sound? But what I'm thinking now is, what if we put the microphone and the earpiece together? What? Talking to yourself to listen to yourself? Hmm, <laughs> and increase the current in the entire circuit. Then all the sounds will be amplified and channeled to your own ears. Ah, Bell, the ears of the rich are saved! Watson, increase the current.